In this video, you are going to see how to create a virtual dollar account on this platform called GeekPay. So here on this account, if I click on view details, you are going to see that the account you get from this platform has all the details you need to receive dollar transfer. So here's the account holder name, the bank name, the account number, the routing number, the account type, and finally the address of the account. And you can just enter these details into your Amazon KDP account or wherever you are receiving dollar payments from. And when the money is sent, you are going to see it inside your dollar account right here. To set up your GeekPay account, just come over to their website geekpay.africa i'm going to leave the link in the description and if you're just hearing of this platform for the first time you can just go through their home page and get to see what they offer so basically you can create a usd virtual bank account to easily receive international payments for your work and also get a usd virtual debit card for payments and if you scroll down you can see trusted by over 200,000 people freelancers creators and all of that and it basically involves three simple steps first you create your account then you go ahead and verify your account and with that you'll be able to get a virtual usd account and also a virtual dollar card so to get started just come over here and click on create an account how would you like to use geekpay you have two options i'm a freelancer or i want to create a company account if you want to get a dollar account that you can use on amazon kdp fiverr upwork or any of those online earning platforms then you select i'm a freelancer you select your location for me it's nigeria and then I'm going to click on continue then here just enter your email address referral code is optional so you can go ahead and click on continue we'll send you an email you just want to check your inbox so this is the verification code if you can't find it in your inbox you should check your promotions or the spam folder and you can see it landed in the spam folder for me but it's fine I'll come over here and type in the code now you need to create a password for yourself and you should know that the password cannot be less than 10 characters and should contain at least one uppercase, at least one number and at least one symbol. So I'm going to type in the password right here and then click continue. And as simple as that, we've successfully created our DP account. We can just close this for now. All right. Now that you are done signing up, the next step is to verify your account. And these are the steps you need to follow to get your account verified. The first is to fill in what you want to use GeekPay for. Receive funds from employer, receive funds from marketplaces. You know, I can just check all of these. Um, you can basically check all of them or you can check the ones that only apply to you and then click continue. Now you need to fill in your personal profile. Very simple, your first name, last name, date of birth nationality phone number and all this stuff and once you are done with the personal profile section you go on to employment details you enter your bank details that's your nera bank account where you want to withdraw your money to so that once usd is sent to your geekpay account you can convert it to nera and withdraw it to your nigerian bank account and then finally you need to verify your identity if you're able to get all of this done correctly you'll be able to request for a virtual us dollar account and also a virtual dollar card this process is pretty simple and will take you just a few minutes now i'm going to quickly walk you through all of these steps starting with what you want to use geekpay for i've already selected and then i'll click continue here i'll just go ahead and enter my name fill in date of birth and then for nationality i'll just look for nigerian and then here i'm going to enter my phone number after typing your phone number, click on verify so that a code can be sent to you which you will use to confirm that this phone number actually belongs to you. Now time zone is optional so I'll just keep that. Then here you want to fill in your residential address starting with the street. Then the country, state, city and postal code. Usually if you enter your street address, if it's on Google map, GeekPay will just automatically fill in the rest for you. Then here you want to enter proof of address. So if I click on choose file, you need to submit a bank statement and then a utility bill. So you just need to request a statement of account from your bank. And then you can go ahead and submit a utility bill like your NEPA bill. And both of these documents that you upload should not be older than three months. The document you upload can be key and jpeg or even pdf files each of these formats work just fine so i'll just click continue now i'm going to click on save so we are done with personal profile i'll go on to employment details here you want to enter the name of your employer where do you intend to receive payment from for this i'm going to select amazon 
Kindle Direct Publishing or if you are using Upwork, Fiverr, Andela, Freelancer.com, anyone, then job information for occupation, I'll just use Publisher. Then monthly salary, you want to select the range. I'm going to use $5,000, $10,000. And then for this part, it says submit Amazon KDP proof of payment. Now, if you choose a different platform here, it's going to request for something different. Let's say on Freelancer, it's going to request for offer letter or proof of employment. So whichever the case, just um, submit the one that applies to you. Here, they basically want you to provide proof that you are actually going to be receiving money from the platform you've mentioned and for amazon kdp one thing you can do is to use the tax form you completed when creating your kdp account remember when setting up your amazon kdp account you completed this tax form so you can basically download this form and use it as your proof of payment because this shows that you have a legit account with amazon kdp another thing you can do is to go to the earnings report section of your account if you've made some sales just download that page as a pdf file and then you can also use it as your proof of payment without any issue and then the last step here is to enter your linkedin profile url just go to linkedin copy your profile url and paste it right here but if you don't have all of this information right now you can skip this step for now so i can come back later to fill in this part but once you have everything in place just click on save now you can see employment details completed the final part is the bank account details this is very simple just select the bank you want to to add to your account the account number and then it is going to automatically fetch your account name then here you need to enter your bvn after entering all of that just go ahead and click on save and then you successfully completed your bank account details the final step is to verify your identity and this simply involves you submitting a government id your national id passport or driver's license and then you need to take a selfie so you can go ahead and click on start identity verification process then you want to select document type you want to use let's say national identity I'm not going to do all of this right now, but it's still very simple. Just follow the prompt and the instructions that it's going to show you. And if you do everything correctly, once your account is verified and approved, you'll be able to request for a dollar account immediately and also get a virtual dollar card as well. So if you need a dollar account and you've tried using Pioneer and Pioneer is asking you to receive payment of $50 before you can get receive an account then you can use GigPay. Once your GigPay account is verified and approved, you'll be able to request for a USD account without delay. And that's basically it for this video guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.